Hey guys, I'm here in LA at the Facebook headquarters with Harrison and Addison. Hi. And we are here to chat with you today about the Fallen movies. I've got some questions for them. They've got some questions for me. Maybe we have some questions from you. Here we go. I know. I already know the answer to this one. You get it right. <laughs> Were you fans of the series when you got the script? Uh, I had not read the book yet when I got the script, and I um, I also decided that I that I uh, didn't want to read the series until I had finished the first movie because I kind of wanted to uh, go into the the first film, which is based on the first book, kind of in the same headspace as Loose and. Being able to put these, this like the mystery of what like uh, her past lives were and all those things, I I didn't want to know about them beforehand. So I read the first book while we were shooting, uh, or like at the beginning, and then um, then I became like a really big fan of the series immediately following when we wrapped the shooting because I read I think all the rest of the books like in like two and a half weeks when I got home. Yeah, yeah, I, I did, it. and I also got like really really emotionally invested in stuff because. I had like faces to put to these characters like you and Jeremy and like I would get like really really upset at Daniel like from his <laughs> perspective like I was just talking about that this morning about like, that fight that they have in the second book and how I was like weeping when I was reading it and like really really mad at Jeremy <laughs> for some reason so yeah I'm a big fan yeah likewise I am um, uh, I, I did the opposite I read all four um to figure out the kind of looseness of Cam, which in the first book is pretty, you know, you don't know if he's that good of a guy yet. Um, and I got really caught up in it, especially, um, you know, when we start going back in time, all these mm -hmm. different lives. That's when I really think Cam, for me, started to form going like, oh man, it's like the chance to play an eternal person. So you can make this massive backstory with your character outside of what you write in your novel as well. Like, you know, where were they in the 60s and then 1504 and, you know. Yeah. And then I got really into the idea of it. All right, the next question is, did preparing for the characters from a popular book series differ from preparing for other roles? Um, yeah, because, you know, there was, there was such a wonderful fan base for um, the Fallen book, so I, it's definitely like a little bit more pressure than I've otherwise experienced because I wanted to make sure that all the fans were pleased and satisfied with, um, you know, how how I portrayed Luz and how bringing her to life through through me was, um, yeah, it was like a big responsibility. But I felt it more of like a responsibility and like also because I was a fan of the books and I know like how how magical it is to read a book and fall in love with the story and, and, and in love with the character and it visualized the whole thing in your head. So I, I really felt for them, you know, and like wanting it to be right. So um, I did definitely pay attention to how how people were were um, responding to my being cast. I remember a lot of people being like looking at pictures of me that when I had a like when I was like really tan, and they were like, "She's way too tan," and I was like, "I know, I know." <laughs> and I I think I like didn't go in the sun for like six months at all. I swear until after we finished shooting, I was like fluorescent beige. Fluorescent <laughs> <laughs> beige. Yeah, I was. Um. Yeah, I think so. And, and outside of uh, the responsibility to the fans, to you guys, as Addison mentioned, it's also to an author is really interesting. Um, mm. I hadn't worked on a, a, a flick based off a book before, and you know, there's a great um, a flick. <laughs> there's, a, there's a great responsibility, you know. And it's, it was kind of nerve wracking meeting Lauren on the first day and being like, you know, I hope you like what I'm wearing. And <laughs> <laughs> I hope I look like that guy in your head. <laughs> oh yeah, it was so cool to meet you that first day when you came to visit. We were all like, oh my. Yeah, did you see Laura? Yeah, it was cool. Ditto. I felt the same way. <laughs> yeah. All right. What is the funniest thing that happened on set? Oh mm. man, it was a lot of laughs. There was, yeah. I mean, I think that. <sighs> I reckon it was like the, doing the flying, you yeah, know, being strung up. I mean, it was so hard to make yourself land because you're obviously yeah hoisted up there and there are so many takes especially in the finale which is a very intense point of the film where I mean we were in tears because we just couldn't land mm -hmm. and kind of like flinging into each other or yeah, running into it was stop such the a, scene. It was that scene that's always what I think about when I think about funny stories is the scene kind of towards the end when Cam is trying to stop the kiss from happening it was like such a specifically timed moment and it was really hard to get your landing and our 
about to kiss at the same time and it was so funny. So funny. It was so funny. It was like swinging into this To be there also room. like, and also <laughs> sometimes Kicking he would just medicine. be there like way too early and we'd still have like five lines of dialogue so he'd be like, <laughs> really in the video. Yeah. Um, but also there was a day that Lola and I, there's a scene of us on the stairs and I, like I'm mad at her and she's like running after me and that scene took us like two hours to shoot because we could not stop laughing at me turning around and giving her a dirty look. Well, it's really and hard when you work with, you know, people who become your friends, I think. Yeah. You're meant to have these antagonizing scenes, but you've become buddies the night before you've had dinner or whatever, mm -hmm. and you've got some <laughs> ongoing gag, and you start knowing each other's little laugh faces, which yeah. is really hard. You see the little, like, twitch of the lip, and then you're like, oh, man, now I'm gone. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of laugh. And what was the hardest scene to shoot in the movie? Well, for me, I think the hardest scene to shoot was the scene, the very last scene with Jeremy and I, with Daniel and Luce, um, right before they, you know, take off through the ceiling. That, because that was the first scene that Jeremy and I shot together. So it was very, very, it was like very early in shooting. I want to say it was like day two or three. Um, and we had done a scene with like all of us, like on the grounds or something, but we hadn't done a scene just one on one. So it was really, it was it was by difficult. I remember going into it being like, oh, we haven't shot everything else, so this is going to be tricky. But it ended up being really kind of amazing because we knew where we were ending, so we had, um, you know, we really went for it. So we knew we had like a lot to live up to to get to that place in the end. That scene became really mm -hmm. legendary. When I came to the set a few weeks in, it was the thing that everybody was talking about, um, that everybody knew that this was going to be an amazing movie because they had already, right at the beginning, managed to capture the, the essence of this love story. Mm -hmm. and, and Addison has these very genuine emotions that Sobs. moved everybody. <laughs> I've heard about it from every single person on the set. That's cool, yeah. yeah. It's a great scene. It's a great scene, and you're a good crier. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Is you. it hard for you to do that? To cry? Uh, no, no, <laughs> uh, no, you know, I've got lots of, I've got lots of material and, but the thing is, is, uh, I was always from the very beginning incredibly emotionally invested in the love story with Luce and Daniel and their past lives and their, you know, destined to be together. It was like really up my alley for, um, things that I, you know, would get obsessed with. So I, I really like that, that, that thing of like needing to be with someone and all of the, all of the things working against you. But then that moment of really knowing, um, wasn't, yeah, it wasn't hard. It wasn't a hard reach for me. Do you have a hard scene, Harrison? Um, oh uh, yeah. I mean, I think like every job there is scenes that it can take you a while to get into, but I mean, it was such a pleasant shoot and I was just having a lot yeah. of fun and you know, Scott was such an amazing, calm captain that I wouldn't say there was any day that was really hard, hard um, for me. And I mean, I didn't have to go to the emotional territories. I just had to kind of, you know, be a bit cool. Which is <laughs> a real reach you for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what can we look forward to most out of the film? Ah, uh, well, I mean, I think definitely, like, the characters are all um, really, like, well-realized and all, like, with everyone that's in our cast. Um, you know, I think that it's like a really like colorful and exciting young cast to watch. And if you're a fan of the books, you're definitely going to be a fan of the movies. And if you're not a fan of the books, I mean, it's just a really exciting and like sexy, fun love story. You know, like got a nice love triangle. What else? What more do you want? Yeah. <laughs> Angels, swings, flying. <laughs> All right, I think these guys are. Oh, these for you. Your turn. All right, mm -hmm. Lauren, what inspired Fallen? Um, Fallen started from a line in Genesis that talks about uh, the sons of God looking down from heaven and seeing the daughters of man. So these are the angels looking down at mortal women and finding them beautiful. And I was taking a um, divinity course and the professor suggested that maybe this moment of attraction is the reason why Lucifer and the fallen angels were kicked out of heaven. So I started thinking about what that lust and an untested love would mean for an angel who was then forced to sacrifice everything, right. his place in the universe, his identity as an angel and his obligations as an angel. And um, I just wanted to find 
the story of a girl who could make that kind of sacrifice worth it. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Always have really good answers, Lauren. Yeah. Have you have you done this before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once, maybe. <laughs> Would you like to ask the next yeah. one? Yeah. Um, what was it like watching your book turn into a film? Um, it was really magnificent. I, I think that for the rest of my life, the, my visit to the fallen set and meeting the cast and spending time with them and seeing it um, transform into this big, beautiful thing is one of the greatest things I'll ever experience. It was so thrilling. I couldn't believe that, you know, I wrote the book sitting on this farm in the middle of nowhere in Northern California, looking out at these, like there were turkey vultures in my backyard. And I always think about like writing this book, looking out at those turkey vultures and just nothing for miles and miles. When I pulled up to the fallen set and saw all of those trailers and you know stuff that to mm -hmm. them is very familiar, just like the scope of a movie. I couldn't believe all these people had a job for a few months because of this thing I wrote looking at turkey vultures. Mm -hmm. It seemed shocking to me. But um, it was so beautiful to get to experience what it was like for them on set and how the movie came t together. Um, and Scott Hicks, I would think we all feel, just did such a wonderful job bringing mm -hmm. this whole thing together. Um, it was wonderful. I think you guys are going to love it. Yeah. Some fun fan questions if you guys want to ask. Oh, yeah, like. cool. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Okay, the, do you want to look at them too? Yeah. Um, what, what's, who's your answer? Oh, well, will you ever write a book about Daniel and Lucy's past lives when they first met? Oh, wow. Um, I, I've gotten so many questions about what else I can write about Lucy and Daniel. And, um, yeah, I'd never say never. I mean, the, the, the universe and their world still fascinates me so much. Um, we'll see what happens. And I actually really like that idea. That's a new one. Their mm -hmm. first, their first life on earth would be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, mm. do you have any favorite dialogue in the movie? In Corrigible. Corrigible. <laughs> I didn't say that. Um, that yeah, favorite I, word, wasn't it? yeah, um, that scene when I, what is it? I call you that. Um, I say in Corrigible, you do. Yeah. And then. Yes, no, it's you. Yeah, anyway, we thought that was pretty fun. And then I got Harrison a hat that said it at the end. You did, that's <laughs> that right. That said it <laughs> on it. Um, that's really funny. Oh, yeah, I was trying to remember. And then I got Jeremy one that said better, better not, just because we'd say that to each other every day about anything. Better not do that. Um, what's the best part about being in the Fallen cast? I know. What? That we're all such good friends. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was such uh, a softball and you dropped it. <laughs> um, no, really, like, I think that we all... And we genuinely... We all, like, yeah. really, really just, like, fell in love with each other and are all still, still such good friends that it seems so funny to me now, almost, that we met doing a movie. Yeah, it's, you know? it's, it's a really good thing. say. So that's definitely the luckiest part about it. And, and also, there's a lot of questions about the second movie. I know that we want it, you know, just as much as all of the fans do, but we don't have any information. Mm -hmm. and, that was um, a very political answer. Well done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Ooh, if you could given, if you could have given your character any advice, what would it be? Oh, <laughs> um, I mean, I'd choose a different tactic in a love triangle, I think. I think mm. he's a bit pushy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he was a little bit incorrigible. Um, I think that... I remember you saying before, and, and I loved what you said when you said that, I think for both Luce and Daniel that their greatest strength is also their greatest weakness. And I think that I wish... <laughs> if I could have told Luce that, I would have told Luce that. Mm probably just keep it in mind <laughs> yeah it's good advice yeah um what have we got here as well um did you have much creative input in the film uh yeah i was happy that i i really felt very included um mostly because when i met scott um we got on really well and i felt like he, i felt like he was already reading my mind in most cases but when i when we talked about ideas for how things were going to happen, it, it felt very collaborative. And I know I've, I've heard you guys say the same thing about working with him. He just was very receptive and also tuned in to the right mm. places. So I think he opened a door for me to kind of come in and 
offer my opinion as as much as I wanted to. Um, I I loved getting to see your audition tapes. That was such a, like a for me a huge sigh of relief. You know, I just was so anxious about. Um, I, I wasn't expecting it to go wrong, but I. I think as soon as I saw you guys and knew how right you were, mm -hmm. it right. just felt like, and it's going to be good. Like I knew that it was all going to be fine. I could feel the chemistry yeah. um, already. And um, yeah, I, I loved being on the set. I loved participating in the editing conversations later and the music conversations later. And I think um, together we've just come up with this really beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that our audition tape was so, we are like audition test with Jeremy and I. I remember afterwards us leaving and being like, I think I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure, pretty sure we did all right. Again. A lot of people want me to make sure that you know how cute you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just so you know. Just, okay, <laughs> and also, one more like thing that. is, um, I'm forever Team Daniel, mm. always. Mm. Okay. Team Cam. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Well, thank you guys. This has been so oh, great. Yeah. Um, and then now we have the trailer to yeah, for everyone to watch. Oh, yeah, have a look. Cool. Bye. See ya.